Six game winning streak, second best in hockey's to Merrimack. A seven game winning streak that began with a sweep of Boston University February 17th and 18th. Second game was a chippy one. I think there were 11 or 12 combined power plays in that game. Already can see BU being a, a little less stubborn than they were last night. Wanting to skate the puck always in. Already dumping it a bit. Hillier coming in, looking for a little help. He gets it to Welsher. Welsher plays it out front. Back to Demon at the point. Demon slides it across to the right side. Shot never made it through. There to break it up was Lane Hudson. Now from the point, the shot comes wide. Tied up there. Fast pace start to this one. Fours mark. Had it knocked off the puck, Lane Hudson, hockey's rookie of the year, first defenseman ever to win the scoring title, and we're going to have a penalty. He was over three on the power play last night. Trying to load it up early here with O'Brien, getting it over to Lane Hudson. He's got to come out to center ice. Finished the regular season, one for 11. Here's Green. Oh, good shot. Rebound. Popped up over the crossbar. Kaplan on the wall, now drops it back for Quinn Hudson. He had the goal in overtime last night to advance the Terriers to this game. Good passing here as the shot came through from Green. He keeps it alive, and here's O'Brien back to Hudson. Lane Hudson plays it down in the middle, bounces around. Quinn Hudson. Moves to the right, drops it for his brother Lane. He works it over to the far side, blocked and cleared away nicely by Demon. Really nice play by Demon. The veteran defenseman, Slava Demon, is real mature. And that was a mature play. He didn't overplay, get too far into the middle. He waited for the shot and made a nice block. Just one tight bond between Boric and Siako. He recruited him at the University of New Hampshire, brought him here as assistant coach. His parents have remained very close to this group. And now on the power play, Merrimack looking to extend its lead. Jeffries back up top. Hillier slides it over to the right. Tough angle shot save made. Comesso couldn't control the rebound though. Bookman skated that in from the wall and now Peterson. Last night, so the guys were well fed, a lot of energy, a lot of more electrolytes. They all also were instructed to take very cold ice baths when they got back to the hotel, even though it was late last night. After midnight. After midnight. After midnight. After midnight for the recovery. dinner and they had ice baths yes. at the team and hotel. Scott Borick told me, naturally, I said, you guys must have taken all the ice out of every hall lobby in, or uh, the hallway in, in, um, at, the, at the hotel where they're at. And he, Team he, managers he, running he, down the hallway he, with little bags. He said, you know, it is the coldest water I've ever had in a hotel before. I didn't even <laughs> need the ice. Broken up here. Quinn Hudson, a little give and go. He's got room. Quinn Hudson coming up on the right side. Just kissed off the glove of Hugo Olas. Only the goalie, as they call him. Puck kept in on the left side lane. Hudson looking for an opening. Poked off his stick. He goes down, but he got it away. And there'll be a penalty call coming up here after oh. that. Comesso ran into Comesso the official. So into the official. Lost his glove. Continued coming off the ice. And the delayed penalty coming up still. O'Brien got it back. Now he's doing his thing and dancing away. Here, he actually gets himself into a, a little bit of trouble. But then it's Tristan Crozier who gets the stick in between his legs and takes him down. Here's Comesso running into the referee who had made the delayed penalty call. Steven Rule. go, and again, uh, losing Josh Siaka far too early. His presence very much felt in that dressing room and by the entire Merrimack and college hockey community. Trying to kill off the second BU power play of the night. Always keep an eye on Lane Hudson. So dangerous. Here, Wilmer tries to take it in deep, broken up, and cleared away. That can beat you. He's, he's that one guy that can be is so dynamic that he can beat you in many ways. And so their goal is not to get beat by him, to stay on the right side of the puck always when he has it. And this is him skating all the way up into the corner with it, somehow keeping the stick on the puck, and now they have control. Far left side, Hudson. Most assists by a freshman defenseman in hockey since Brian Leach back in the 80s. 
kept inside the blue line. Taking it at the top. Looks, flips it wide. Good passing here. They hit the post. O'Brien was set up at the slot. Pass over for Hudson. He gets to it. Gives it to Wilmer. He gives it back now. Lane Hudson takes the shot low. The middle guy, or the bumpers, it's called. O'Brien eventually is going to get it. Nice little give and go up top, down to the side. Eventually, right there, the touch pass from Wilmer back to the middle. O'Brien, who is playing in the middle. He, he did play something. He's a guy that can win a lot of battles and a lot of puck battles along the wall. Fensori from the far side got the start in the shot from Tuck, where kind of a hard pass was deflected wide. Now he's got it back. Tuck looking for something. This is brother Alex Tuck, part of the Jack Eichel trade. Speaking of Vegas, now in Buffalo. They have yet to get one pass. Here's Gallagher. Pulls it back. Tried to flip it over to Hudson. Now he's got to give chase. Under seven minutes remaining here in the first period of play. 1-0 Merrimack leading on a short-handed goal by Christian Felton. Flipped it up ahead. Here's Peterson gaining the line. Flipping it to his left. Shifty move there. Lane Hudson pulls it back. The shot saved made by Olas. Rebound control by the Terriers. Hudson back up top now. The wrister gets through off the pad of Olas. Tipped. Nice reactionary save from Olas. Now you're seeing Quinn Hudson at his finest. You saw it on the breakout, a little fake. Really good deceptive player. You're seeing him create opportunities for him and for his team. Takes it over center, fires it in. A good forecheck here by Boston University as they transfer it over from UMass. Prior to that, played with uh, Denver for three seasons. There's Tuck, getting it over to O'Brien, wasting no time, firing the shot. Hillier, bringing it back out. That shot coming through from Welsher. And Hillier with the Junior Bruins when he was younger. Went up to Youngstown. Now back here, playing for a Hockey East Championship. Lane Hudson. Loses it there. Hillier gains the line. Fires it on net. Comesso with teams played in the Hockey East Tournament. Jake. That was a quarterfinal series back in 2005. Uh, sorry, 1995. Sometimes I like to kid myself that it was only that long ago. And here banks it off the far boards. And try to get something going with Brad Student. Transferred from Rochester Institute of Technology, RIT. He's out of Scarborough, Ontario. Two on two as they come in. Crozier drops it, hustling. One there by Boston University. And Lane Hudson will pull back, pull up, and get the long pass ahead, but it goes with 101 remaining. Will come back. Uh, you can see the respect, obviously, that Merrimack has for that guy, Lane Hudson, who, as we talked already numerous times last night and tonight, so dynamic. But what they want to do is they want to put him into some uncomfortable spots. They want him to get the puck off his stick, too. They can force him to have to go wide more than anything. They feel like they'll be able to do their job. They haven't stand, uh, stood back and wait for him. They, they are attacking him as best they can. See if they can get the puck off his stick into areas where they can retrieve it. Fired in now. Under a minute remaining here in the first period. Shots even up at nine apiece. The shorthanded goal. Peterson brothers back at the point. There's Lane. Plays it ahead to the left side. Tuck gets after it. And we've got another pair. Launched, catapulted the stick out of a BU player's hands. And not playing the puck. And as you can hear, Merrimack fans have shown up tonight. Are right there. He absolutely launches the stick out of the hands. Let me get the BU player. That's Green. Green performs almost a circus act of kind right there. Almost like a five on three now. Yeah, a little under 30 seconds left in the period. They'll try to do something here before the end. Lane Hudson. 
Passing back and forth. Now taking it back, but he's got to reach with the backhand. Over to the right side, big shot. They try to inch in. Lane Hudson's going to bring it back to the middle. Fensori's going to get it for the one-timer, and I can't tell if it grazes off the arm or not. This will show you here. This will show you it yeah. does, and yeah. then off the crossbar. Would have gone in otherwise. Yep. It's good to be 6'8 when you're a goalie. Not that we would know. Puck comes in deep, final seconds winding down. Calverly will tie it up. Hiatus, they could not go to the NCAA tournament. After recently moving up to Division I, you have to wait that out. Lane Hudson playing it over to the right side. They get it down low to Kaplan. The two-man advantage, it comes to Hudson. Under a minute, shot comes in on Olas. He makes the save. Lane Hudson wants it. Instead, Kaplan has it. Back and forth, up top. Fensori looks, waits, goes. Lane Hudson shoots and scores! Tic-tac-toe, tie game! BU and a patient five on three. And they kept cre creeping in. And that's what you want to do. You want to creep in, creep in, get a little closer to the net, and force the goaltender to have to move as much as possible. They end up doing this. You got a triangle formation up top, too low, and then eventually Hudson from the circle is able to unleash a howitzer quickly, and Olas can't get over, and it's just perfectly placed above the pad. Still got 40, 53 seconds, beg your pardon, on the second power play. We talked about how this could be a big moment in the game when they went off the ice at the end of the first period. Big so far for BU as they tie it up early in the second. So a short-handed goal from Merrimack. Five on three, power play goal for BU. It's all about the special team so far in this hockey's championship. Puck just chase. Settle things down there for the Terriers. Fed down low, Brown got a piece of it, but Olas will break it up. And down low, the opportunity came uh, up front, and oh. they had a follow-up there. Olas standing tall in the middle of it, but BU right now buzzing. One-man advantage here. That one comes out of play. A lot of movement on the power play here, five on four. They actually started their five on three with three high, and then they started a little movement to see if they could break down Merrimack. They scored the goal, but you're going to see Wilmer with the first shot, then Tuck with the second one. Wilmer had a really good opportunity before that, but really good movement up top, moving the puck around. Tuck is going to be in the middle of the ice, and oh, off the glove, and then off the post. Second post that BU has hit in this game. Down in the corner here, 1-1 one, one our score in the early going of the second period. Long pass up ahead, getting back, settling things down is Dennison. Liam Dennison, now Tuck, centering pass, but it just did get by O'Brien. O'Brien curling away from traffic, getting it back to the point. Weber brings it down low to the doorstep, shot wide. Keeps control of it as Lane Hudson skates to his right. Little spinorama as he goes to the far side. Pass comes through to space here. Phillips there for the Terriers. Play it up ahead. Hudson, shifty move to the left, plays it down low. It was off a skate, then cleared away. By Lane Hudson starting to feel it as Camesso holds. 13th of the season, 46 points now for the freshman defenseman. The Hockey East Rookie of the Year. And the Hockey East scoring leader as a freshman defenseman. Kaplan to his left, there's Hudson looking for more. Ola. After Olas was outstanding in that double overtime shutout last week, you wondered if they would go back to him. Borgiel got the start last night and was terrific, and you go back to Olas tonight, who's rested instead yeah. of playing a double. Doing a big set for the second one. That suits his As it comes back to the point, the shot from Ty Gallagher never made it through. It got blocked. Battle for the puck down there. And now there, Welsher comes away with it. Plays it out in front, puck loose for the moment, poked away by Comesso, but batted back. And that Stick. shot from Welsher deflected up into the net. And continued to earn more time, and now such a big part of it. Big part of what 
Merrimack Hockey hopes is an historic season. Yep, but the official didn't realize that Camesso had actually stopped it, but then let it get off his pad. Boy, uh, Merrimack right now making life really difficult on Boston University as they try to break it out. But they're about. It's it's not as... It, Jeffries on a terrific play by Lane Hudson on second ever. Now Jeffries got it out to the front. Hudson broke it up, and he's thinking about offense right away. Going up on the left side, Peterson takes the shot. Brian's had a good weekend in the faceoff circle. He has, yeah. Poked off his stick by Brar. Brar bringing it down low to shot wide. Camesso may have just gotten a piece of it to turn it aside. Good Matt Brown trying to charge up. Up on the right side, Bookman entering the zone. Knocked away from him. Lane Hudson will settle down and then start up the ice. Hudson weaving his way over to the far side and then playing it in deep as he takes the hit. Way back in the side. Turned over there. And the shot sails wide as Crozier got it to Welsher. Now behind the net. Lee Bolden trying to help out. Kind of forced the turnover, but now taken back by Stevens. He lugs the mail up. Messner, nifty little job to get the stick to the puck. Now battling for it as it comes back along the wall. Bookman played it along, but BU will carry back out. If, he, if you're Merrimack and you make one little mistake, one of the skill guys from BU can make you pay big time. But overall, this kind of three zone, get it out through the neutral and then get it in type play favors Merrimack. Phillips, good pass off the wall. Numbers favoring BU. Green plays it across to Brown and tries to just send it along the wall and Lane Hudson is there for BU. Keep your eye on Hudson. He's got space. Instead, he gets it up to Matt Brown, who's waiting at the far blue line. Brown will pull back now. A little bit of trouble with Darrell. O'Brien sends it out front of the big save for Olas. He kicked away the point-blank bid from Quinn Hudson. Left, Pony battling for it. Boston University wins the draw. Tuck gets it out over center and plays it in deep. He's bucked there behind Olas. Scramble for it. As it comes free out front towards the net. Oh, good forecheck the last couple of shifts from, from Merrimack as the puck jumps onto the Terriers bench. Reason for the whistle. But you heard Scott Moore talk earlier in the game about using Ray Croft. Uh, I'm telling you, heartless. You'd think there'd be more love in the brotherhood of the goaltender. <laughs> They're a little different. Well, he was... He was all in favor of the goaltender. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's so much. No, the ref get out of the way. <laughs> Shot come out in front. Almost a costly turnover. Matt Brown fed it across, gets over it, but Lane Hudson back there to get it for the Terriers. BU out shooting Merrimack 19-16, but Merrimack leading where it counts. Two to one the score here with two minutes remaining in the second period. Long pass out to center ice. Fensori is there. Fired it hard enough to get it through to Lane Hudson. Up ahead for Brown. Matt Brown in traffic. Peterson gets it back after his initial bid. Good skating through. All alone in front. Sam Stevens is stopped by Olax. A non net kicked aside. Lane Hudson dangles to the left. Gets the pass away. Back to Gallagher. His shot save made. Stevens digging at it. It's wide. Loose puck to the right of Olas. Played out in front. One more shot before the buzzer. What awesome movement by BU. Peterson going to move it to the front. Stevens can't beat the right pad again of Hugo Olas. That has been a very effective pad for Olas in this second period. And he seems so composed about this. Despite the frenetic pace from, from BU and putting butts at net and controlling the last 30 seconds or so. Olgan's remaining. Luke Tuck can try to win the draw, but it's back in the corner. And that is when they exit the zone with clean, crisp uh, pass. Passes. They do a lot. Just one win on the season when trailing after two. One, seven, and oh. Hasn't happened a lot. They've generally uh, led or tied after two periods, but they've lost seven of the eight games they've trailed after two. 
Taking it from Armstrong, heading in with Phillips. Phillips, the pass just out of the reach of Lane Hudson. Phillips gets over there. Looking to his left instead, firing. And in the middle of everything from Merrimack. And chip it out to center ice. Glove down here by Lane Hudson. Quick pass up ahead from Matt Brown. Brown. Try to get around Jeffries on the far side. They battle for it. Felt in there to help out as well. Puck along the boards and then played out hard off the stick of Capone. Comesso keeps it away from Capone. The Terriers control here. Approaching the midway. Or approaching a five-minute mark, rather. Well, now you see Merrimack, five guys back in the neutral zone as soon as they lose control of the puck. Again, forcing B as much as they can to stay out to the, to the outside. Lane Hudson had to go around the outside to get that in deep. The back, Lane Hudson. Ahead to his right, Wilmer. Peterson with a quick shot wide to the left. Waves. Nope, icing will be called as they get back after it. So they'll do it again in the offensive zone. Well, keep an eye on how we, you know, we saw right pad. We're tied at two. Under 11 minutes remaining in the third, and the Terriers have tied the game up. For the second, never trail. Led one nothing, then two to one. Here's Messner trying to get him back on top. Shifty little move there, and he got a tricky shot away. Camesso was ready. Now the long pass, Lane Hudson heading in, dangles on the right side, gets the pass away, stepping up and clearing it away on a good effort, which is what they have now. It's won by Boston University. And Lane Hudson fakes the pass, then throws it on the left side. Picked off at center ice, and it is taken back by Peterson. Hudson just had to get rid of it there. Loose puck hit. The Warriors get it in deep to change. Hudson skates away from the traffic. Get it back out to Welsher. Numbers favoring the Terriers as they head up the ice. Hudson to Hudson. He takes it back along the boards. Lane Hudson just dancing up and down with it here. Gallagher fires a shot. It's high. Tuck. And it knocked off his stick. Felton, by doing so, gets his team yeah. a chance to change. Yeah, you know, B, you would love to get one of those extended zone times. You know, keep, put, reverse that, but put it back down low. And especially be careful. Taken around by Liebold. He leaves it here. He Try to cycle it. Mesner digs it out of the crowd, takes the hit, knocked down, back up on his skates, but BU controls. Taken back there, good effort by Forsmark. Try to play it on the front lane, Hudson now. Curls around behind the net, back. Six minutes left in the third, two to the score. Lane Hudson, the pass ahead. Comes Felton heading in. Wide on the left side, Christian Felton looking for his second of the night. Tries to skate through the check, but it's the Terriers breaking out the other way. Quinn Hudson gets to it in the corner. Braces for the hit. Puck taken away and skated away by Welsher. End to end action there over the last minute. Now it's out in front and it was off Welsher, but it went wide. Tuck digs at it for the moment, played away, Welsher at the end of a long shift. Got deep a little bit there by Lane Hudson. Hudson now a little shift, a little burst of speed. Takes it down into the corner, brings it back up. Here's Kaplan, pass to the far side. Shot into the crowd, rebound, save! Olas cover, Tuck covers his helmet and realizes he had an excellent chance there, but the big goalie was up to the task. 2-2 with just 4 5 remaining in the third period. It's Calverly finally comes away with it, looking for help. The passing comes down low, bouncing puck for the moment. And pass. And Demon gets there first, ahead for Welsher. 
Heading into the zone, here's Jeffries, shot on net, rebound loose in front. Puck out at the edge of the crease. A scramble of body. Jeffries digs it out and, well, backhand flip to the front. Now the shot from Bookman. Strong up along the wall. Kaplan there to help, fires it wide. Lane Hudson trying to dance it off the wall, met by a swarm of Warriors, and yet still is able to dig it free. Hudson gets the puck away. Gallagher was locked and loaded, but he couldn't get the shot away. Luke Tuck skating it around, under half a minute to go. Gallagher has it again. Ty Gallagher, wrist shot, blocked as kept alive. Here's Lane Hudson, rookie of the year, pulls up, skating down to the right. 12 seconds remaining as Hudson looks, fires, and he shot it just wide. Not sure Ola saw it from the reaction. Bodies flying as the final seconds wind down. Tuck turns, and he didn't get the shot away in time. Zach Bookman getting the pass up ahead. Forsmark finds Brar on the left side. It's wide. Played in deep. Camesso there. Traffic forming around him, but he calmly gets it. Wins. With speed, he gets to it. Keeps it alive for Brown. Brown. Far side. Up top. Lane Hudson. Fires the shot. He scores! does what he does best when he gets the puck up top walking the line a little shimmy and then a whole lot of shake as he rifles the puck a wrist shot in from distance beating the big goaltender Hugo Olas but as it stands end of the game and the goal stands as expected Boston University for the 10th time win the hockey's championship this kid was the full he did a pretty good job at it at times but he still finds a way winning battles below the goal line this is grinded out hockey there's the shake and then there's the shot beautiful read from lane hudson after matt brown goes low to high walk to the middle shake the shoulders get yourself into a better shooting lane set up a target in front of the net and screens in front and olas doesn't react until it is by him Boston University winning a championship in the first year as Jay Pandolfo becomes the first first year coach to win the title. He's with Meredith. You know, he never does. He uh, He's a machine. He keeps going. He, he was excellent for us tonight. Uh, he's been all year long. He, it's incredible what he's done as a freshman in college hockey as a defenseman. Uh, we're so lucky to have him. He's one of the most competitive kids. So it's been a lot of fun to watch him and he's great for us. This is your 